So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Tregos, what's happening? Too old for this shit. I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm getting too old for this shit. Too old for this shit. Too old for this shit. I'm too old for this shit. I'm getting too old for this shit. I don't want to be jerked around. I want a clean break. Too old for this shit. I'm getting 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 too old for this shit. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the Hive. It's Barnet v Dover Athletic in the Vanarama National League. So we all cry about it being boring when there's no football about. And as soon as the football season starts, we're playing too many games in a short period of time. Midweek games should be banned. You've got to give me a week at least so Barnet can do something so I can use in my vlogs. I'm starting to get writer's block. It's a bit like cock block. And for you virgins out there that don't know what cock block is, I guess it's when you die in Fortnite or Minecraft or something. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to the full news! So Dover finished 13th last season, one place behind us, where they played 46 times, they won 16, they drew 12, they lost 18, scoring 58, conceding 64, giving them a goal difference of minus 6, and they ended on 60 points. Andy Hessentyler is still in charge of the Whites and he's now taken 39 games where his record stands at 19 wins, 9 draws, 11 losses and a win percentage of 48.7. Number 11, Alfie Pavey, who has three goals in three games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 22nd of the 12th, 2018, Barnet 2, Dover Athletic 0. Jack Taylor and Mara Valletti, with his one appearance and one goal, gave Barnet all three points. So with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Dover Athletic. You took one of our legends on as your manager. And then just 18 days later, he quit. Because he knew how shit you was. How dare you take on Ian Endon and give him crap to work with. You should be ashamed of yourselves, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnett today is unchanged in the same formation. In a 4 2 3 1, Loach in goal. You're back four of Shad Alexander at right back, David Zatonda at left back, Captain Cannon Reynolds and Ricardo Santos as your two centre halves. Two in midfield, James Dunn and Harry Taylor. Three in the advanced midfield role. Mason Clark on the wide right, Medi Lee on the wide left, and Jack Taylor number 10 role. And Simeon Akinoda up front. And this is our Dover Athletic lineup for tonight. 20 minutes in, it's still nil nil. Not a lot to report. Shade done an awful back pass three minutes in. To Loach, did didn't notice that Ricky Modest was in an advanced position. He sliced a shot and he went over the bar. In the 20 minutes, we've gave the ball away so many times. Cannon Reynolds still loving that 40 yard Hollywood ball. Just gone half hour, still nil nil. It's taking us a good 30 minutes to wake up and have a dangerous attack at Dover. Sim, nice little work one two with Jack Taylor. Jack Taylor's running to the box, four Dover players around him. He lays off to Sim. Sim gets a shot off, doesn't go anywhere with it. We've passed it around nicely in the last couple of minutes, but 30 minutes to wake up and get into this game. 10 to the half, still nil nil. We're giving Dover more chances than we're giving ourselves. Loach plays the ball at Harry Taylor. He doesn't read it well to greet it. Gets closed down by Medes, who plays into Alfie. Reynolds comes in, last ditch challenge. We managed to clear our lines. Five to the half, still nil nil. Nothing to talk about. Oh, 
Half time here at the Hive and it's Barley nil. It's Dover Athletic nil. Three and a half games in. Dover Athletic, they've been the most organised side we've come up against. When they're in possession, they're a 4, 2, 3, 1. And they're closing down, they're pressing high and they're attacking. When they're out of possession, they're a 4, 5, 1. Very organised side. Us can't break them down. Lacking so much creativity. If we want to knock it around in triangles, it's certain parts of the pitch, we'll be top of the league. We're doing too many sloppy, wasteful long balls. Giving the ball away too much. No communication yet again. Just see what the second half brings. It is only nil-nil. Come on, Barnett. Almost 60 and it's still nil-nil. Nothing to talk about regarding penetration on the goal. Going a couple of times where we whip the ball in, low and hard along the goal line. No one taking the gamble. Just this second, Loach rolls the ball out to Shea. Shea plays in Jack Taylor. Jack Taylor puts in a nice ball. Medialito gets up. Keeper equal to it and pushes it wide. It's our best movement so far in the second half. Very good chance a couple of minutes after that one. Still nil-nil. Mason Clark puts a ball in. He's dragged it towards the edge of the box. James Dunn has a shot. Keeper pushes it wide. 70 minutes in and it's still nil-nil. Most of our plays come down the right-hand side and it's been a battle between Mason Clark and Dover's number three, Taylor. Into 90th, they've just added on five. It's still nil-nil. I struggle to see where we're going to get a goal from when we don't have this plan B. Don't have the big man up front. And in the 94th minute, it's Barnett nil. It's Dover Athletic one. Dover get a corner. Dunny manages to clear it. To a guy on the edge of the area. He has a crack. Loach pushes it wide, but it lands into Inefion's path, who's unmarked. He has an header and it just drops into the back of the net. We're all bumping into each other trying to clear the ball. That was Inefion who scored a number nine. So the game finished Barnet nil, Dover Athletic won. So I guess that's what happens when you come up against a very organised, disciplined side with an experienced manager that knows how to win points at this level. Four games into the season and Dover have been the best opposition we've faced so far. But there will be better teams to come up against and I mean that in no disrespect to Dover. So credit where credit is due. Dover worked really hard and it was hard to break down. We're going to win some games in the season. We're going to lose some games. We maybe even draw some. That's football for you. But to keep the same idea for 90 minutes and not try to change it up formation wise is just dumb it took us half an hour to try and create something we were far too slow sloppy with our passing and decision making we huffed and puffed but we're never going to break down dover playing the 4-2-3-1 why do we keep giving the ball away so much why do we keep trying to do the hollywood 40 yard ball constantly woods and taylor for dover i thought was excellent and walgan in goal pulled off a couple of saves in front of the cameras we need to have a change and go with two up front and if Shaq ain't fit then why ain't Barham in the squad what about Mo Betama there's two strikers right there that ain't getting a look in I'm sure Vassalou would have brought some energy as well was it in the squad and we didn't have a defender on the bench so unfortunately it's our first defeat of the season we have to put it behind us and we go again this Saturday home to Chesterfield a lot of people keep going on about this striker the only thing that I'll say on this supposedly forward coming in I just think we're all having a carrot dangled in our face just to try and keep us interested and onside because if we do sign this big number nine target man up front hold up player are we going to change from the 4 2 3 1 then how did you lot get on you know what to do tala what the fuck i'm supposed to say